lecture i am going to discuss about how to create unique constraint for multiple columns in my square okay so first here i am going to show the database that i am going to use so let's write here select a statement then after a star from and giving the name sakila press here dot then going to give here emp or name so emp is the table names so execute that so this is the records and now if I go on this EMP so you can see this is EMP if I go on this index so there is no here any index are there so we can create the index so for this one we need to write the query so let's write here alter then table and drink the ordering table so emp after that add unique and then here you need to give the name so giving you unique index after that the next is we should give you some columns so you can give your two columns or more than two columns so column type must be same if integer then integer if string then in string okay so here I'm going to select here EMP number the next is MGR and the next is uh, three columns selected you can select more than three so right click then table is inspect there you can see this is the type here so commission that is text and others text and some are integer now after doing this one select this one and execute the query so this tables are altered now thereafter go on this emp table inspect and here click on this index so now you can see this is the unique index that created this is the name type is p3 and here unique this columns okay so unique index created you can see created on emp number then mgr and here this is now sir okay and this is the way we can create the unique index so if you want to drop so you can also do this graphically if you click on this drop then this will or remove the unique index now you can see there is no any unique index but when you execute this query once again then unix index created and what you need to do close that one again right click then table inspect you can see here unique index created on this columns so this is the way we can create the unique index unique constraint for multiple columns in my sql so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you